Well, friends, in a brand new court filing, special counsel Jack Smith is trying to walk Donald Trump closer and closer to a pretrial jail cell. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, in a brand new 32-page court filing, special counsel Jack Smith plainly understands and gives voice to not only the capacity for violence, but the high likelihood of violence as a result of Donald Trump's dangerous, intimidating, inflammatory speech and posts. And Jack Smith is going after it, hard. Let's start with the new reporting and then let's have a look at just some of the passages from this new court filing by Jack Smith in which he urges Judge Chutkin to not only reimpose the gag order on Donald Trump, but he takes it one step further. Let's start with the new reporting. This from the Washington Post. Headline, special counsel urges judge to crack down further on Trump's comments. And that article begins, special counsel Jack Smith argued in new court filings Wednesday that recent comments by Donald Trump show not only that a federal gag order should be reimposed, but also that the court should weigh stricter sanctions, including sending him to jail if he keeps talking about witnesses in the case. In recent weeks, Trump's public statements attacking prosecutors, court personnel, and others have raised alarms among judges who worry that such verbal broadsides might inspire someone to commit violence against the subjects of Trump's wrath. You think? Okay, that's my editorial edition. The article continues, U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin, who is overseeing the federal case against Trump in D.C., issued a limited gag order against the former president last week, but she temporarily suspended the order while she considered further argument on the matter. In a lengthy filing, Jack Smith's office argued that she, the judge, should reinstate the gag order, particularly in light of a social media post this week in which Trump talked about his former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, who is a likely witness in the pending trial. Without the court's order, prosecutors wrote, there is an immediate risk that witnesses' testimony could be influenced or deterred by the defendant's documented pattern of targeting. Okay, friends, let's turn to the new 32-page court filing by special counsel Jack Smith and his team of prosecutors urging Judge Chutkin to reimpose the gag order and taking things one step further. The motion is entitled, Government's Response in Opposition to Motion to Stay. In other words, they are opposing the defense's request that the judge continue to stay or pause or suspend the gag order that she imposed previously. And here is how Jack Smith's filing opens. The court has issued a narrow gag order that strikes a careful balance between the First Amendment rights of the defendant and the need to safeguard the integrity of the proceedings, including by protecting certain trial participants from intimidation, harassment, and threats. Like every other criminal defendant, what the defendant, Donald Trump, may not do is publicly target certain trial participants in order to vilify and implicitly encourage violence against public servants or to launch a pre-trial smear campaign against foreseeable witnesses. And then friends, we're gonna jump to page 11 of this new court filing because that's where Jack Smith really 
crystallizes and summarizes the danger posed by Donald Trump. Here's what he writes. There has never been a criminal case in which a court has granted a defendant an unfettered right to try his case in the media, malign the presiding judge as a fraud and a hack, attack the prosecutor as deranged and a thug, and after promising witnesses and others, if you go after me, I'm coming after you, target specific witnesses with attacks on their character and credibility, even suggesting that one witness's actions warrant the punishment of death. It kind of sings, doesn't it? And friends, here's how Jack Smith wraps things up. You have to make your way through 30 pages of this pleading, get to the next to the last page, page 31, and then there are some legal technicalities that Jack Smith discusses here, but we're going to decipher those. We're going to translate those from legalese to English. And page 31 is perhaps the most important page of this new court filing. Here's what Jack Smith's prosecutors say. The court should modify the defendant's, Trump's, conditions of release by making compliance with the gag order a condition. By doing so, the court will have at its disposal the compliance measures available under 18 USC, United States Code, Section 3148, in addition to those available as a contempt penalty for violating the order. Otherwise, without the court's intervention, the defendant will continue to threaten the integrity of these proceedings and put trial participants at risk. Okay, friends, now you know where we have to go as the last stop on today's Justice Matters video? Well, we have to go to the big, ugly blue book of federal laws, the United States Code, and have a look at what 18 United States Code, Section 3148, provides. That's the code section that Jack Smith references right at the end of his lengthy court filing. And here is what 18 United States Code, Section 3148, says. Sanctions for violations of a release condition. Available sanctions. A person who has been released under Section 3142 of this title and who has violated a condition of his release is subject to a revocation of release, an order of detention, and a prosecution for contempt of court. Okay, friends, let's recap what Special Counsel Jack Smith did there on the next to last page of that 32-page court filing. So remember how there's a gag order in place up in New York? Judge Ngoron gagged Donald Trump from talking about his, the judge's, court staff. And Donald Trump has violated it a couple of times. The first time he was sanctioned $5,000. The second time he was sanctioned $10,000. And that's how things have been going in Donald Trump's New York trial, his fraud trial, which he's already lost because the judge has issued a partial summary judgment against him. And now the only thing left for the judge to decide is how much money, how much of his ill-gotten gains will Donald Trump have to pay back, disgorge, pay back to the, the people of New York? That's the way the gag order is being handled up there. But here's what Jack Smith did in this new court filing. He said, Judge, we want you to reimpose the gag order, lift the stay, right? Lift the pause, put it back in place. Donald Trump has proved that he will continue to intimidate, harass, and threaten the witnesses, court staff, prosecutors, and others. So it needs to be put back in place. And when you do, we want you to make it a specific condition of Donald Trump's pretrial release under Section 3142, and that he must comply with it as a condition of release. And if he doesn't, if he violates it, 
Well, then there's that other provision, 3148, that says, if a defendant is put on a specific condition of release by the court and he or she violates it, then they are subject to pretrial detention, they can have their release revoked, and they can be ordered detained, and they can be prosecuted for contempt of court. So that distinguishes this gag order and the consequences for violating this gag order from the more general gag order in New York where they're, they're debating what the sanction should be, money fine of this much or money fine of that much. So this really is Jack Smith going hard and walking Donald Trump step by step by step closer to a jail cell pending trial. So in the event the judge lifts the stay, which I suspect she will, makes it a specific condition of release such that if he violates it, he will be revoked on release and ordered detained pending trial. I think the odds have just gone up again that Donald Trump will see the inside of a jail cell pending trial before his trial date of March 4th ever rolls round. And if he continues to threaten, intimidate, and harass witnesses, court staff, and prosecutors, that's precisely where he belongs, in a jail cell pending trial where he'll be neutralized, his megaphone will be taken away, and our nation, our society, our democracy will be protected against Donald Trump. That's what I would like to see happen. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.